Heading is a principal moment. Heading principal moment. What is principal moment? Principal moment. Principal moment. Okay. What is principal moment? The method of matrix algebra. The method of matrix algebra enables us to show that for any point in a rigid body, one can find the set of Cartesian axis for which the inertia tensor will be diagonal and the axis are called principal axis and the corresponding diagonal elements I1, I2, I3 are known as principal moment of inertia. In practice, the principal moment of inertia being a IN value of I are find out the uh, roots of the following little determinants, okay? This is determinants IXX IXX minus I IYY IXJ IXJ Okay. I Y X I Y X I Y Y minus one X Y X Z I Y Y minus one I Y Z I Y Z I Z X I Z by I Z Z minus one. That is zero. The above equation is a cubic in I with the roots are the desired principal moments. Okay. Next is a Euler equation of motion. Euler's Euler's equation. Euler's equation of motion, Euler equation of motion, okay, Euler equation of motion. For the rotational motion about a fixed point or about the center of mass, the direct Newton's approach leads to a set equation known as Euler's equation of motion, Euler's equation of motion, okay. Let us consider the equation of motion of rotational motion for a fixed uh, coordinate system with uh, origin at the center of mass is uh, torque, 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 T, tau j, tau j equal to dj, dj, Vector J upon DT where where D J J type J J J equal to sigma K I J K W omega sorry omega K this is the equation number eleven this is the equation number 11. The moment and product of inertia I, J, K are uh, with respect to a fixed coordinate frame by choosing body fixed coordinate system simplify, simplifies analysis of motion, hence moment and products of inertia both are time dependent. Now using uh, relation D vector R upon DT equal to equal to delta vector r upon sigma delta t plus o vector omega cross vector r and uh, equation 11 may be written as equation 11 may be written as tau z tau z equal to j i upon t plus uh, omega cross uh, j j if we select the axis of uh, 
rotation in a body where all the products of inertia vanish, all the inertia vanish. If we visualize a piece of rotation in the body where all the products of inertia vanish, then I I J equal to zero for I not equal to J. Okay. Axis for which I, I, J is 0 and I not equal to J is called the principal axis of the body. Axis for which I, I, J equal to 0 and I, I not equal to J, I not equal to J, I not equal to J are called the principal axis of the body. Are called the principal principal axis axis of the body. Body, okay. Then J1 equal to I L1 omega 1 equal to I1 omega 1. J2 equal to I22 omega 2 equal to I2 omega 2. And J3 equal to I33 omega 3 equal to I3 omega 3. Where I1, I2 and I3 are the principal. Moment of inertia. We are, we are I1, I2, I3. I1, I2, I3 are the principal moment of inertia. Are the principal, are the principal, principal moment of inertia. Principal moment of inertia. Are the principal moment of Inertia, okay? Equation 12. Equation 12. This is equation number 11. This is equation number 11 and this is equation number 12. 12. And uh, equation number 12 in Cartesian coordinate the either equation of motion of a rigid body as tau 1 tau 1 equal to i1 omega 1 minus omega 2 omega 3 i2 minus i3 tau 2 equal to i2 omega 2 minus omega 3 omega 3 omega 1 i3 minus i1 tau 3 equal to I3 omega 3 minus omega 1 omega 2 I1 minus I2. Okay? This is the equation number equation number 13. This is the equation number 13. Equation 12. Equation 12. Equation 12 and uh, equation 13. Equation 12 and equation 13. Equation 12 and equation 13. 13 are called either equation of motion for a rigid body with one point fixed, with one point fixed, okay? Thank you, this chapter is ended and now we will be start the example of this chapter, okay? Thank you.